Today we're going to change oil in a Mazda 2010, Mazda 5. We've put wheel chucks back here on the tire to make sure that it doesn't roll. We've got a floor jack. We're going to put underneath the car and lift up the side of the car so we can work. It's too low to the ground to get So now we've got the car jacked up. We're going to take this plastic cover off so we can get to the bottom of the engine to drain the oil and change the filter. You have to start up by taking a bolt off on each side and then several across the front here and then it comes off. Clip it from each side and from the front. And the cover slides up. Now that we've got the cover off, we can move the oil into position. The drain plug is on the back side right here. And we can take, take that off. Have the oil pan ready. We've got the oil drain. We're going to put the plug back in. Make sure to tighten it snugly with the wrench. Then we're ready to move the oil pan over to underneath the oil filter, which is right here. So we have the oil, new oil filter. And we've got the oil. This, the, Mazda 5 takes 5W20. We want to put a little oil around the on the rubber here so that it seals good when it goes in the engine. Just a little bit like that. So now here's we're going to take the old oil filter out. Just unscrew it. Be careful because it's going to drip some oil. And turn it upside down in the pan to finish draining. So we take the rig, wipe off where the old filter was, and we put the new filter on. Just snug my hand is good enough. Then we're ready to put the cover back on. Okay, so now we're ready to lower it down. Lower it slowly. 
So now in the engine compartment here, we want to check all the fluids. We have window washer fluid, uh, power steering fluid. Uh, oh, window washer fluid. This is actually radiator fluid. The engine oil. This is where you fill engine oil. We put more in. This is the transmission back here. And this is the brake. And the battery's over here underneath this cover for jump starting and, and checking. Now we're ready to fill with the oil. And we'll pour it in here. Should take four quarts. So now we've got the four quarts in. We can take the funnel out. Put the cap back in. And we check the oil. Make sure that there's enough in there. Put this out. Rip it off. Push it down, pull it out, and check that it's up to this line right here. Yep, it's good. So now we start the engine. Now that we've started the engine, let it run for a little bit, we've turned it off. Now we come up here, check the oil again. Make sure it's still up where it's supposed to be, which it is. And that's how you change an oil. So then we check the fluid levels here. That one's good. This is the radiator fluid. It's good. This is the power steering fluid. It's good. We can check the window washer fluid by putting your finger over the hole so you can see the Now we can check the brake fluid. You can see the level here. This is low, this is high, and the fluid inside is in between. So that's good. Then we come over here and check the automatic transmission. Pull it out, wipe it off. Just stick it back in. Pull it back out and make sure that it's above those two marks there. And see how dark it is and see if it should be a, a reddish color. This one's getting close to needing change, but it's still okay. It's starting to get a little brown. So that's how you change the oil in a Mazda 2010 Mazda 5 and check all the fluids.